What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Minus World. And I know a lot of you guys are like, yo, you just told us that Von Miller was that dude. I also told you that everybody is replaceable, dude. It's not like real life. You know, like how when you grow up and people tell you since you're a kid, like everybody's replaceable. That's not true. You can lose one person and be completely destroyed. That is not true. But in video games, especially this type of game, bro, everybody's replaceable because most of the players do the same thing anyway. But don't correlate that with life. You will lose every time. Trust me, so everyone is not like the same thing. And some people are very, very unique. So if you get somebody special in your life, do your best to keep them. I'm gonna tell you this right now though. This dude right here, that dude, yo, Adelius, like bro, that, 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 hey, that dude right there, once I saw his numbers, look, th let me just tell you guys what I was doing, right? I was going through the auction house and I was sitting there like, you know, these steam diamonds or team diamonds or whatever they want to call them, it's, it's whatever it is. I'm like, yo, let me go ahead and check these guys out. Like, doo, 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 doo. and then I'm looking, I'm like, hold on. Why is that dude so beastly though? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, we just got Vaughn. Oh, yo, Russell Wilson, bro. I'm watching you, dude. You, bro, hey, you might be raid sold instantaneously. Like, bro, he's going to be gone. I got to tell you this right now. He might be gone. I'm not even going to lie to you. But Vaughn Miller, we just, yo, I was in the middle of a lab game and my brain was like, raid sell. And I'm like, we need a poo. I'm like, okay, listen, this guy had to go because once I saw the numbers on the other guy, I'm like, hold up, dude. Yo, what is up right now? Like, this is, bro, he's so much wilder. Like, I don't even know what's going on. I was like, yo, we gotta go ahead and do that. Plus, we get more options, obviously. Remember, I told you guys about it in the last video. You have to unlock, you know, more tier ability slots in order to get certain things that we were used to, like the edge threat and all that stuff from last year that everybody was able to get mostly. Um, you gotta be very, very careful. So, the beautiful thing about this is we actually gonna get a profit on what we're gonna actually sell his power up for and we're gonna get back just around the amount that we bought his elite for. So, because we made, you know, we made, um, you know, an attempt to see what he can do on the D line and everything like that. And by the way, guys, he was working out pretty well. Just because so, I know some of you guys are gonna ask, like, yo, what, what do you think? Uh, was he good? Uh, you know, are you raid selling him because he's garbage? No, I'm raid selling him because there's somebody better right now that gives me a better opportunity to win, gives me more abilities right now. You see what I'm saying? Like, we have to. You have to assess it. Like, he's a good card, and he was shedding and doing everything right. Like, this is one of those situations where you do everything right, and your boss walks in like, yo, you know what? You're fired. Like, th th that's pretty uh, I got to be honest with you. I, I don't, like, listen. He did nothing wrong, but he has to go. And that's just the way that it is. And by the time that it's said and done, I will have a core defense that not only will make you guys understand exactly what I'm doing and trust the process, but it will make a lot more sense why I did it. Because the more I explain it to you, the more you guys understand. The problem is we went from having millions of coins like four days ago to having 47K. I can't do anything with 47K in this game right now. So guess what? We have to look at every position. We got to find out like, yo, what you doing today? Like you garbage, all right, what you doing? Like we got to move around and see exactly what's happening. There is no other way to get this through. So now everything that we've done, the bundles that you've seen, uh, you know, the pack goddess pull, we got to go through these 80 overalls. We got to see what they worth. We got to sell them. We have to do everything in our power to make sure that we can stay competitive because it's very difficult, guys. I'm t Listen, right now, in order to get some of those theme, what is that, team diamonds to like a 90 overall, you got to go give, bro, like you got to go give away like an organ, dude. Like it's, it's wild prices and the way that you have to get it right now is very, very limited and you gotta be smart with the way that you move. So even though Von Miller was a really good card, in my, opin in my opinion, because remember, I didn't put abilities on him, I just maxed them out and he played very, very well. Even though he did all of that, at this time right now, Adelius is better because we have more options with him, okay? So we now have to go ahead and say, you know what? This guy for 49K, the power up is pretty good. We have to start to look at players that get that bigger edge, all right? We have to get that edge. And the only way that you're gonna achieve that is if you're smart about the way that you move. So we actually lucked out a little bit because we were able to actually get rid of them at a key point where we didn't lose anything. Even when EA took their 10%, we still won. There was nothing they could do about it. We were still good with it, bro. Like, all right, cool, you, you know, whatever. You, you, you did what you had to do, you took him, whatever, I'm good. 
And that works out so much better for us right now. So with everything else that's happening, we know that Adelius and um, who, who's the guy that we have on the other side now? We, we uh, was Elvis, Elvis Dumerville. We know that those guys get the additional slots. So the upgrade area is very, very huge because now we know, all right, look, once we start to get our feet set, you know, start to grind it out, get to level 50 right quick, we will be able to do more with these cards that we have now. So there's nothing to really worry about as opposed to we have to wait for EA to release another card in order for him to get that upgrade. That's the mindset right now. And we have to look at it. And like I said, with the way that it works, it's easier for me to do my best to try to get it out as soon as possible to you guys so you guys understand what's going on as opposed to you guys spending it and then you're like, yo, I have no ends right now. You see what I'm saying? Because like I tell you guys all the time, one of the perks to being subscribed to G Myers World and turning on post notifications is knowing exactly what I'm doing so that you don't make the same mistakes. So now you don't have to deal with the Von Miller thing because you can manipulate your team, sell this guy, sell that guy, figure it out, and then just know that you have the capability of adding the slots to these players. Yes, it costs a lot. It's like 2,500 for some of them. This guy was an 89, so it doesn't cost that much to get him to a 90. As a matter of fact, it didn't cost anything. Uh, but some of the guys that are lower overall, you got to add a lot of training to get those uh, boosted numbers. So there, there's a lot going on right now. And a lot of you guys are coming in new. Uh, YouTube has been recommending the channel. Shout out to YouTube for all those recommendations. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and say hi in the comments. This is what it's about. The team building aspect of Mutt, this is the, this is the funnest part. Like when you go out there and a guy's throwing the ball through your body, that sucks. This right here though, the team building, trying to figure out this guy, eventually we're going to figure out what theme team we're going to go with. That's what's exciting. That's what makes the game really, really fun. So at this point right here, you know, we've done several raid souls. We're getting started. You know, we, we're going to hit the ground running and we're going to continue to go because that is what, what's necessary. We right now, because you see how Eric Kendricks is there? That dude, that dude's garbage though. Like he he sucks. And I know some of you got yo like, bro. You know what, dude? Like, hey, you know, yeah. Hey, I'm watching them, guys. Guys, I'm watching them. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm I'm telling you right now because Bobby Wagner. What happens with him? Uh, Bobby Wagner was actually out of. Uh, he's a nat card, right? That we I got while I was grinding solos, and I didn't even realize because you know like sometimes when you press the um the option button. And when you're getting rewards and you don't see everything, sometimes it slips through and he slipped through and he was in my binder. And like, while I was actually doing this video, I was like, oh snap, I got Bobby Wagner. So, you know, Eric Hendricks, dude, like you already know what's going on. So we looking pretty good right now. We got, you know, Elvis Dumerville. We got Adelius Thomas. It's starting to round out well. You don't want to miss what's coming next. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.